All right, this is gonna be a quick video on how to rewire or bypass the momentary switch on the WEN Lumberjack six and a half ton log splitter. Um, we're gonna open up this box. Please understand this video is strictly for entertainment purposes. Um, if you attempt to do this at home, you would have to do it at your own risk. You should not attempt to do it if you do not understand electricity how to wire circuits, how to complete circuits, um, anything like that. Otherwise, you could be at risk of creating a fire. Uh, you could be at risk of electrocuting yourself, and certainly you could be at risk for destroying the device, the motor specifically. Um, so, uh, again, I do not recommend you do this at home. This video is for entertainment purposes only. Um, if you want to hook up the foot pedal switch, um, this is how you would possibly modify the wiring on the inside. There's six screws here to take this case off, you know, the cover. The other one. Just be careful of this gasket right here. Um, this is what keeps the box uh, waterproof here, or at least moisture proof, we'll say. All right, I'm actually restarting this here a little bit. Um, I recorded a whole bunch of this and then kind of did things, like discuss things a little bit out of order. I want to make sure that I, I cover certain things in a certain order to ensure that we're we're safe. First and foremost, don't do anything until you've watched this video in its entirety. And again, I don't recommend you do anything. In fact, you shouldn't do anything that I'm doing. But if you are a person that were to do something like this, make sure, first and foremost, you are not plugged into any sort of power. Um, again, there's a danger of being electrocuted. Now, even after you're disconnected from power, this power capacitor will continue to retain an electric charge for quite some time um, after it's unplugged. Now, in theory, we could maybe press this button to help dissipate that power. Um, that may help, but I, I don't think that'll really work in this case. But anyway, just be careful. Any wire that you touch that's attached to here, you could be in danger. Be very careful. Um, one intelligent thing to do that I probably should be doing um, is wear like rubber gloves, something with some sort of insulation touching any of this to ensure that I do not electrocute myself. Now, this on the top here, this will unscrew. It's it's not the easiest thing to unscrew. Um, it will unscrew if you need to take something to, to kind of clamp on it gently and kind of help twist it. Otherwise, in theory, you can just twist this all the way one way or the other. Um, but if you are able to unscrew it, that's probably ideal. Um, so right there, I got it loose here. Uh, but before that, it was very, very difficult. Anyway, the idea is turn this so you can unscrew both the wires. This is, and now understand, the, we're taking away the motor side, if you will, the load side. Um, I really shouldn't say the load side, but really we're, we're taking away the power from the motor to bypass the switch. The idea is we're gonna take these wires from the motor and bypass this. So instead of having it connected to the switch, we disconnect it. And in this case, I just put a new end on here, right? A new blade receptacle, female blade receptacle. It's just long enough to reach to get here, okay? Originally, this was on here, right? So it went from this side of the switch because this flowed from here through the switch into the breaker. Now we're taking the switch out of the equation, so we unplug this from the breaker and we direct wire to it, okay? Now with the white wire, same concept. We're taking the white wire, disconnecting it from here, cutting the end off, stripping it back, and plugging it in here into the power distribution block. Whereas before, the wire went into the switch, the switch then came out here, which this way here, then plugged in here, okay? So we disconnected here. Now we're, go we're skipping the switch and we're going straight to this block, okay? Again, I just had to cut the end off, strip it, and put it in there. Need a really small, I don't know if we can get it to focus here, you need a really small uh, flat blade to get in there to unscrew that, all good. Um, that's about it. So again, disconnect the wire here. You can do so by unscrewing this. Um, otherwise you can just twist it in there. It'll probably still turn. Uh, it's gonna be hard to do, but it's, it's all plastic. It's relatively soft. If you're not careful though, you can snap this stud off, but so be careful. Uh, mine has already been loosened. Very, very difficult to do, but I did it. Again, cut the end off, put the new end on. So now we're going from the motor 
down here, right? Not the switch. From the motor directly into the breaker. We still want to have that reset function um, to ensure that we do not um, harm the motor here, right? We still want that protection. And we're taking the white wire from the motor and running it into the distribution block. And so now this is exiting here into this black wire and it's going up into the power cable. This now is going up through the distribution block and then again out of the distribution block into the wire here. Hopefully that makes sense. Also notice I took the gasket off. Um, I put it directly into here. So word of the wise, the gasket is keyed so that it can only go on one way. The cover is also keyed accordingly. As you can tell, this is not center. It is offset to one side. So when you look at the box and you look at the cover, you just have to, in the gasket, you have to make sure that they all match. All right, the, uh, the pedal came, the pedal switch here came. So this is gonna be the moment of truth. Let's see how this goes. And let's see how it does. Easy peasy. Well, that's all I got for you guys. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to put messages in the comments. I will respond if I'm able.